What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to my channel. I wanted to uh, take a few minutes out of my day to kind of talk to you guys about what's been going on with me and, and kind of give you an update. I know that last week was kind of a slow week for me on the channel. I hate to make excuses. I love doing my, my YouTube channel. It's not about views. It's not about numbers. It's about me feeling good about creating content, me talking to you guys about something that I'm truly passionate about. And getting feedback from you guys on uh, you know these subjects, these things that are going on in the video game industry and in the world, and uh, it's a part of my life. I mean, I know you guys see me on on YouTube and think, hey, it's BC Gamer. I'm a real guy just like you. I got a family. I support them. I take care of them, and I do this in my spare time. And sometimes my time isn't as spare as I like it to be. Sometimes I have prior obligations that will supersede YouTube. Meaning, uh, you know, family situations, work, and things of, of that nature. But I'll always come back to you guys and uh, and make my, my videos. I love doing this. I love hitting that render button. I love watching my own stuff, you know, and hearing my own thoughts. Because, uh, to me, I'm an important person. I'm important to myself. And I love to hear what I'm saying, and, and, and I think it means something. And it makes me feel good that you guys are, you know, kind of riding along with me and hearing my thoughts. And you don't have to agree with me all the time. Or, you know, at all. The fact is that, you know, you guys are here and it means a lot to me. And I just wanted to apologize, let you guys know last week was a little slow. These things will happen. Even big YouTubers get slow from time to time. But I'll always come back. I'm not ever going to stop doing this. I love doing it. This video, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about something that's been running through my head since uh, E3, um, since the 9th. Uh, and it has to do with Sony, uh, the Order 1886. I saw this game, you know, uh, during the E3 2014 reveal, and, and it looks great. I mean, when I say it looks great, it looks to the point where you wouldn't even think that's a game. It looks so real. I mean, if you guys have seen this trailer, a uh, matter of fact, I'll put a link in the description for you guys to see it if you haven't seen it. This trailer looked so good that I was wondering how it's possible that it's a game. I was looking at the little details around, you know, the, the interior of the building and the way that, you know, the, the character moved, the animation, it, it was so silky smooth. And I was like, Jesus, is this really where we're going as far as video games go? And it's very, it's very optimistic to, to look at it that way, but at the, at the same time, I'm really cautious as to where this game might be going. Now let me explain. If you look at this game, it looks fantastic. It looks like what, probably the best looking third person shooter I've ever seen and probably better than anything you guys have ever seen too. It looks fantastic. But the thing I noticed that was heavy during the, the gameplay reveal was there was a lot of quick time event type situations, a lot of cutscenes that transitioned into gameplay and then you, you aim your gun and you fire a few bullets off and then you got more cutscenes. The thing that I'm wondering about with this game, The Order 1886, is if this game is heavy on that aspect and light on actual gameplay, my hand's going to sleep, is it light on gameplay and heavy on cinematics? Now some people might not have an issue with that. I kind of do, because if you, if you want to create a game that looks phenomenal, that has minimal gameplay, then there's going to be an issue. It's not really, you know, a game per se. It's more of a watch and interact type of situation like Beyond Two Souls, you know. And that, they, that that's a game, but it's more like a movie. And I'm, I'm hoping that The Order 1886 isn't in that vein of gameplay. I want to be able to walk around in the world and, and do what I want to do. I don't want every moment of the game to be scripted. And the thing is, it looks very heavily scripted. When you go around a corner, you might be wanting to walk a certain way, then all of a sudden it looks like a cutscene will just begin. And then you're being pushed forward and propelled throughout the story. And then you, you got, you know, these QTE moments where you're aiming your gun. I'm speaking heavily about when the werewolf was approaching the main protagonist and you had to shoot him. And then all of a sudden you grabbed and you're thrown through a window. These were cutscenes that were done all in engine. You know, the, the development team said that there is no pre rendered stuff. Everything is done in engine, which is a feat in itself. But the fact that they put so much behind it graphically, 
makes me wonder if this game is a game, if it's going to be heavy on gameplay. Because if it's just a, a visual spectacle that we can throw on our PS4s and show our buddies and say, wow, look what the PS4 can do, then there'll be no meat and potatoes to the game. There won't be any reason to actually play it. I don't want something that I can show off people who don't have a PS4 or show people what next-gen graphics look like. I want a game that looks phenomenal, but at the same time is a phenomenal game. I want a game that looks great and plays like shit. I'm sure you guys don't either. And I'm not saying that this is the situation with the Order 1886, but I'm saying it could be, just based on what we've seen. Uh, and I've heard a lot of people who had hands-on with the game say, hey man, it's heavy in QTE. You know, I played the game for eight minutes and six of it was like cutscene and two minutes were, you know, you're aiming your gun, shooting, and then all of a sudden you're going back to a cutscene. If that's the case, then we're going to have some problems and, and the game probably will not be as good as they're hoping that it will be. Now, but like I said, I don't know for sure. No, Nobody knows how good this is going to be, but that is a possibility. And I'm hoping, I really am hoping that this is not the case because the game looks great. I mean, it looks like there's so many things they can do with it. Imagine, it, it makes me feel like uh, the Underworld movies. It just feels like that. It felt like that when I first saw the, the E3 trailer in 2013. I was like, wow, this is like a werewolf game. They could do this right, and, and hopefully they will. You guys let me know what you think. Have you seen any new footage of this game? And if you have, does it lead you to think that it's possible this game is heavy in cutscenes and heavy in quick time events and light in actual gameplay? Because if that's the case, this is going to be a fail for Sony. We need a game that looks as good as the Order 1886, but it's heavy in gameplay and not so heavy in cinematics. Hope you guys enjoyed Strider on PS4, playing around a little bit. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.